Today is Tuesday, December 21st, Vlogmas Day 21. And you know what that means, right? There's only four more days, four more days for me to accidentally mess up and say the wrong day on Vlogmas. I haven't messed up yet, I don't think. I don't plan to, but no promises. But uh, actually speaking of that, I think I've decided to only do Vlogmas through the 25th. In the beginning, I had talked about maybe going through the end of the year or maybe even uh, beyond that. But we have a lot going on between uh, Christmas and New Year's that, that week. So I don't really think I'd be able to keep up the daily upload schedule over that time. I even considered stopping on the 24th uh, just because Christmas Day is so busy and everything. Uh, but I feel like in the spirit of Logmas, um, you know, even just for me, I'd like to put a, a video out on the 25th. I can't promise it's going to be anything spectacular. Not that any of my other videos have been spectacular in Vlogmas, but I should be able to get something out on the 25th. So that's my plan. Quick update on my back. I think I had mentioned yesterday that my back had not been feeling so great over the last couple days. And I was pretty sure that was because of the projects that I've been doing in the gym you know, I was doing some bending over drilling sawing that kind of thing I thought I might have re-aggravated it a little bit but surprisingly this morning when I got up it felt pretty good and I only have a little bit of soreness in my legs I think today is probably the best I've felt in like a month a month and a half so it feels really good. I'm really, really, really happy about that. I'm glad I didn't, I guess, re-aggravate it to the point where, you know, I was taking a step backwards. So hopefully I've turned a corner. Hopefully it just continues to get better. And I'm really hoping that I can just, you know, start the new year resuming some of my more normal activities, you know, lifting and walking more regularly. That would be cool. I'm really looking forward to that. And speaking of the uh, gym projects, uh, just before coming out here, I went down to the gym and I tested out my um, adapter sleeves. Oh, wait, well, before that, <laughs> I, I did go to the post office, got another card, uh, put that card up on the wall. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Um, after hanging the card, I tested the adapter sleeve that I made. It's nice and dry. Uh, so I slipped it onto the standard uh, post and I think I put like a 35 pound weight on there to test it out and then I tried putting on one of the clamps that I have that kind of locks down and unfortunately it doesn't clamp all the way it slides a little bit it doesn't clamp onto the PVC completely so the PVC must be a little bit uh, smaller but anyway I have some like spring clips I tried one of those and that seemed to hold pretty well. Um, you know, I did want to have some sort of locking mechanism, which is really the whole reason that I wanted to make these adapters or why I wanted adapters in the first place. Because the Olympic plate size, the hole obviously is bigger than the standard. So you can always put a, an Olympic plate on a standard post. Can't go the other way around. Uh, but I wanted to be able to lock it on. So it's kind of important that I had, or I could at least find some clips that uh, will lock the weight on. Now, the only other issue is locking my new adapter sleeve onto the standard post. Um, right now it fits kind of snug and I don't think it's gonna come off. So I'm probably okay without, um, you know, doing anything specific. I, I do have some screws. I could probably drill a couple holes and maybe like make a set screw that I could just tighten it a little bit and hopefully that keeps it from from sliding off but so far so good I'm really happy with it um, I did not check Lowe's to see if they have you know black or gray PVC but I think what I'm gonna do is maybe refine uh, my process for for building one of these things and um, come up with like a final product and then make a final a final video uh, just in case anybody else finds it wants to make their own 
adapter sleeves. Um, but I'm happy with it so far. Much happier than uh, the wood pieces that I was making. I, I don't think that was going to work out very well. So. Yeah, it's good. The only other thing I wanted to talk about today was related to the comments I've received and, uh, you know, thoughts, opinions, even concerns over the fact that I'm not weighing myself and I'm not tracking anything. Um, there is something that I can't avoid, really, when it comes to tracking. And so that's what I'm going to be using as my, kind of my benchmark for tracking my weight loss. And that is my clothing sizes. If I lose weight, I'm going to need to fit into smaller size clothing. And I'm going to have to know <laughs> what size I currently wear and what size I need to either buy or fit into to move to a smaller size. So that is one thing that I I can't avoid uh, when it comes to tracking. So currently I wear a size extra large shirt or sweatshirt, jacket, upper body, pants. I'm either a size 36 or 34 depending on the pants. I think most of my pants right now are 36. So I'm going to go with 36. So that is definitely one thing that I will be using uh, to track my weight loss. It's actually it's actually unavoidable. <laughs> uh, so I will post updates uh, if and when I start losing weight. Again, I still don't feel like I'm really losing anything. You know, if anything, I think I've probably gained a little over over December. Uh, but when I start losing, I will be posting updates on my clothing sizes. And whenever I go down to another size, that's how I'll be tracking my weight loss. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for Vlogmas Day 21. Hope you're having a great December so far and Christmas right around the corner. All right. Talk to you tomorrow.